Many Miami-Dade residents steaming hot over the approved vote to roll back rates on property taxes. A packed house pulling an all-nighter. Their message, not in our backyard. Early this morning, the rollback budget passed 8 to 5. And as you can imagine, it's not sitting well with homeowners. 7th Richard Jordan is live at the Stephen P. Clark Center with the very latest for us. Good morning, Richard. Hi, Christine and Richard. The county was looking to close a $444 million gap, and essentially they were considering two options, to raise taxes or to cut some jobs and services, some pretty essential jobs, things like police officers and firefighters. In the end, they voted to raise taxes. That decision came after a very tense 10-hour meeting. Mr. Chairman. Let's wake everybody up and let's get ready to vote. Motion passes. Miami-Dade County Commissioners approve a tax hike affecting most homeowners and their decision comes under a firestorm of controversy. A crowd calling for their jobs. We are going to remove all the commissioners. <laughs> the final vote brings a 14% increase in property taxes to offset plummeting home values. 60% of homeowners with, with homestead exemptions will see a hike, but it can't go higher. And with that, the county still brings in the $8 million less than last year. Higher taxes. That's what it means, higher taxes. I still believe that uh, this is not the time to increase services. Maybe it's a time to reduce, just like people in their households have reduced from a lot of things that they need. We had stated uh, last year when we passed it that we would not increase over a certain millage, 3.9. And this year we did do it, so it's over the state-defined rollback. But the mayor says the vote ensures public safety. You'll still have... The same number of police officers out in the streets uh, patrolling our streets. Uh, you'll have uh, fire rescue personnel responding to calls on a timely basis. Uh, so the level of service, uh, the frontline troops uh, will not be affected. So I'm, I'm very happy. The tax hike is just what Miami businessman Norman Brayman threatened to recall the mayor and commissioners for. He said he'd try to remove anyone who voted for a tax increase. I have uh, not been one to be intimidated. You cannot govern by threat. So the question now, if Brayman will follow through on his threat to remove the mayor and the eight commissioners who voted in favor of the tax hike, we'll have to wait and see. Reporting live this morning from Miami, Richard Jordan, Today in Florida.